Okay, welcome back everybody. Uh, now we're going to move on to actually assembling the, uh, the, the rack itself with uh, all the T-nuts pre-installed pre and all the parts. Um, it'll make it pretty easy to get everything up and going. So I do want to, uh, once you open your package, you're going to notice that uh, you'll have two separate packages of rails in there. You'll have one package that has two long rails, which are almost 24 inches, and then two almost 12 inch pieces, or I'm sorry, four almost 12 inch pieces. And then you'll have one wrapped together similar to this, and it'll have a sticker on it that says upright. Those uprights you kind of want to set aside for later. Um, you don't want to use those when we're constructing the base of this. So, uh, you know, just put the uprights in the back and we'll get to them once we get the base built and all the brackets installed for it. So, so what we're going to do now is kind of do a pre-installation of some of the brackets. So, if you notice these two brackets here, they are not identical. You can see that the there's no screw in these corners. Basically what that means is that's going to go in this corner and that's going to go in this corner. So easiest way we found to do this is we just want to flip it, flip over the rack and once it flips over it kind of pops all the T-nuts up. So as you can see once you lay it flat it pops the T-nuts up and you can slide it right over. Just make sure your T-nuts are lined up straight you can take the long rail, I'm probably hiding this from view, take the long rail and just slide them over the T-nuts. Simple as that. Okay. Now you'll want to add the crossbar to it and same simple step is you're going to take the rail with the T-nuts, slide it up just like that and that part's done. Take your next one. Make sure your T-nuts are lined up to the rail and go ahead and slide that one up. Simple as pie. So now that we have that corner bracket on, what we want to do is we kind of want to just make sure that this long rail and this rail here are flush on the outside with the bracket. So you can kind of move the bracket, you can move uh, the uprights to just make sure it's flush. Once you have it flush, you can kind of just put it together and you know I do like maybe two turns of this you really don't want to tighten it down all the way um, because you know you have a whole other side to build so you don't want it kind of you know tightening this part and this part being out of whack and not being able to get the other half together so uh, like I said you could just do you know one turn of the screw just enough to where you can't pull it out and it's going to stay together as you move the the rail uh, as you move the system around a little bit to get it put together so as you can see here the no screw is in this corner here no screw in the corner and now we're going to just switch to the other side and this no screw is going to go in this corner we lay the rail down very simple the t-nuts kind of raise themselves up a little bit and we line this long rail up and shoot right across the T-nuts. So, as you can see, some of these T-nuts are a little tight and they're probably tightened too much down. So I can just give them a back turn and they slide right on. So, put it back on the table. Take your other rail. Your other rail slides on. And this rail, same principle. Line them up straight, the T-nuts, and slides right on. Once you have that, you can hold these, lift them up. Sorry for the noise, guys. And again, you can slide this bracket right to the edge. Make sure it's nice and flush with the long and the, the edge here. And again, just one, one and a half turns, just enough to where it's a little snug, but not, you know, super tight. Again, we're going to be installing the other side. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick little tightening of these. And as you notice, I left the case feet off. Uh, one of the reasons I did that is the, the case feet that come with the hasher, uh, they go right here dead center. I, did, I don't put them on when I do the assembly because I can't set 
the bracket all the way down and have the screws pop up. So it makes the install a little more difficult. So now that we have these tightened up, uh, again, they're not completely tight. They're just tight enough so we can, we can move the rack around a little bit and install our other parts. So I'll move this back into view for you. And we made a lot of mistakes at this point is we wanted to put the other side of the rack on so we could, you know, kind of get the square built. If you do that, you won't be able to get any T-slots into this area to where you need them for the uprights. So at this point, we take the 90 degree aluminum angles and we slide, get the T-slot in there, and we slide two of these on there because we have a front and a back upright. Front and a rear, I should guess. And then your second one, just like so. They slide right on. We'll move to the other side and do the same. One. Sorry about that, guys. Two. All right, so now that we have these two uprights, uh, 90 degrees in here, we have two more pieces to put in before we can start putting the end caps on. Because if we put the end caps on with the bottom plates now, we wouldn't be able to get our upright brackets that hold our upright uh, from swaying left to right uh, in here as well. So these are pretty universal. They can go in this way, they can go in this way. Uh, long as this shiny side is out towards the outside of the case and on this inside rail. So you'll see here, we're gonna take this Slide this guy uh, make sure my T nuts loose. Slide this guy and slide this guy. And he'll slide right in there. So he'll go all the way to the back. So if you see, we slid him in from the front. Get these elbows out of the way here. And it slides all the way flush to the back here. Now this flush assembly to the back here, uh, we have found works perfect for any of the 290 cards and up. So 290, um, actually we found that the 280s, uh, the 280X, 290, and 290X, uh, with this completely to the back, the cards are long enough with no issues. Um, if you have some of the smaller cards, the 270s, the 280s, you may need to creep this forward uh, because this is going to have the upright piece that goes here and that's where the back of the video card is going to lay down. So if you get it together and you need to move this front or aft, uh, you know, front or back, uh, it's just three little screws here, one, uh, one, two, three, will, uh, you know, let you adjust that upright uh, rear GPU support. So we got that one side in. Now we need to get the other side put in and this is just essentially the same thing on the other side is get your T-nuts lined up, make sure they're semi-loose, and drop them in. So now, as you can see, we have uprights on this side, and we have uprights on this side. So. We don't need to put any more hardware on at this time before we can put the end cap on. So, what we need to do the end cap is basically taking this rack and standing it up on edge, just like that. Again, you'll notice that these two brackets are not alike. One is right, one is left. You'll see the reason for this cutout here is when you go to stack a hasher, uh, you know, stack one on top of another, this, uh, this fits the upright perfect and it kind of locks it into place. So when you go to put these on, you need to make sure that this opening is towards the, the front of the case or the opening here. So what we can do is, now that we have all of our hardware in for our uprights, we can go ahead and start putting on the front. That basically we just drop it in 
go to this side and you'll see the cutout is here. And we'll come into here, do this real quick. Again, you'll notice that there's a little bit of play with this because we haven't over tightened this. If we over tighten this, we wouldn't be able to move this to make sure that this bracket fits in there perfectly. So I can kind of hold my T slots in from the back and adjust this post if need be to make sure it's perfectly square. Just like that. So now we can go ahead and slide these brackets forward just out enough to where we can get our crossbar over. Go ahead and slide this one over as well, up to the front. And we're straightening those T-nuts. So when we bring in this long front piece, basically all we have to do is just line it up with that T-nut, straight over to these T-nuts, and voila. So now your bottom is built. What we want to do is just go ahead and lift it up, like so. And again, you want to make sure that your corners are flush with this corner here, with the upright, with the flat across, and your bracket. So you can kind of get everything flush, hold them together. And then this time, I would recommend getting one, uh, one bolt on each axis tightened. So, you know, we're at the point now that, you know, we need to start getting all of these parts, uh, you know, tightened up. So when we build the uprights, there won't be any issues. So this side's all squared off over here. Go ahead and tighten this guy down. This guy down. Again, I can come back through and tighten all of these once I get a little bit closer to finishing. Again, we just want to come over here. Make sure this is nice and flush. Hold the bracket in place if necessary. Make sure the rails line up. And tighten away. All right, so I haven't tightened them all, but I've tightened enough to where we can start working on the upright portion of this. So now you can see I'm holding with one, one hand, everything is just perfectly lined up and holds its shape perfectly. So now, what we want to do is put our uprights up. So remember when I told you the beginning, set these aside. The reason why these are set aside is because these uprights are taller than these pieces here. And if you were to interchange them, you wouldn't be able to stack two PSUs and a hasher. So this one here gives you perfect amount of height to stack two PSUs and then put another hasher on top. So what we're gonna do for this is, we're gonna do the rear portion first. Um, and when I say rear, this is the portion that the rear of the GPU is gonna be hanging out. So what we wanna do from here is, this extra 90 degree is for the front upright. So I'm just gonna move these two to the front and we'll put the front uprights on in a minute. So. Same concept as we saw before with the T-slots. This time we're just doing it a vertical way. We wanna get one T, and then this one is tricky because you're doing uh, one T from one side and another T from another side. But if your T's are lined up good, then it just pops right in. So, sorry about that guys. So with this in, we can slide this all the way forward. I'm sorry, yeah, all the way forward or all the way to the rear. And then we can take the Allen key and, you know, on one or two of these, just give it a good tight. Just like so. And you see it's pretty rigid at this point, but these aluminum, uh, aluminum brackets that we include really tighten this, this upright up. So we just go ahead and tighten these down. The aluminum ones you can actually wrench on pretty hard and they'll give a nice sturdy, uh, you know, nice rigid feel to the, to the upright. Let me get this other one tightened real quick. So, that's one of the uprights done. Very simple. As you can see, 
It's very sturdy. I can hold the whole entire rack with that upright. So, you know, stability is not going to be an issue with this rack for you guys. So, all right, so let's spin it around and take the second upright. Let's get this guy on the other side. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and set this one in. Make sure the T nuts are lined up. Top, bottom, and side. Again, the three configuring all, you know, two sides at once is a little difficult, but slides right in. So, same thing on this side. Slide, slide the part all the way to the front, as you can see. When you go to do an adjustment, as I said before, if you have a shorter card, uh, you know, these rails can go pretty much all the way to the front, all the way to the rear. So, you can kind of get a, a perfect, you know, I need my hasher to be this for my short cards. Uh, you know, I can slide it to be perfect right there. Uh, again, the stock setting uh, is ready to go for 290s, 290Xs, uh, and uh, the 280s. I'm sorry, 280Xs. I'm not sure about the 280s. Uh, 280, yeah. So with these in place, basically, we want to hold this bracket forward. Give one good turn there. Another good turn there. And just want to make sure our upright is, is straight and then we'll push this firmly up against here and then we'll tighten this guy down. Probably get the point if my hands are in the way I do apologize. Let's see if I can get a better view. Push this flush up against it and tighten away. Again, these aluminum ones are very strong, so you can really kind of rank down on them. Uh, the ABS ones will flex a little bit. They won't break, but they'll flex a little bit. They're not as strong, obviously, as aluminum. So uh, I always recommend on the uprights to just go ahead and tighten these, uh, you know, down really nice and snug. Again, these are uh, these are holding, uh, you know, some of these hashers will have six cards, uh, six times, you know, 500 bucks. You're looking at three grand. We want these uprights to hold them. So as you can see, this upright's really sturdy one hand. The unit's just, just really, you know, as we put more and more brackets on, more and more uh, angles, it really tightens up and it just, you know, turns into a, a, just a beautiful product. So, all right. So now we're gonna move on to the front, basically, of the hasher, um, where the PSUs will mount on either side. So we need to get some PSU brackets uh, included with the kit is PSU bracket for the left and a PSU bracket for the right. Uh, I installed the switches on this one just to make it a little bit easier when I go to put the motherboard in. Um, you know, I just put the wire in and I'm good to go. I don't have to fiddle with trying to get these on. So, so we'll put this one side on. Again, it's just a T-nut system. You're gonna slide it from the front. Slide it from the front. Make sure this is good and loose. Just like that, you'll see that that moves back and forth perfectly. Now, we have the front uprights. So this is where the 90 degree comes back, this angle comes into play, is we wanna put the upright with this in the front and the back. Very simple, just like that. So as in all the other brackets, we wanna make sure everything's flush. So we'll bring this over to the edge, make sure it's nice and flush, and we'll hold the bracket in place and give it nice two little turns. So as you can see that slid a little bit, I can slide it back, make sure it's nice and flush, and then tighten the screw. Tighten this guy, and tighten this guy. So, see there's a little tiny bit of wobble to it? That's why we do the 90 brackets angles in the corner of these aluminum pieces. Again, just tighten these guys up and tighten these guys up. All right. Sorry for the silence. I usually talk through this, but I'm trying to concentrate on getting that one last tight. All right, so again, nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. 
uh, you know, just super stable for, you know, putting your cards on. So now we'll move on to the other side, which will have your PSU uh, bracket and your switches. Again, just the T-slots. You're gonna slide them right in, like so. Brackets on there, and we wanna switch to the upright. Go ahead and slide this guy forward a little bit. Make sure this guy's straight. Put him on there. And put him there. All right. So now, wanna make sure this corner's nice and flush. Pick the smallest table to build this on. Make sure that this corner is nice and flush. And we're gonna go ahead and take it, tighten it down. Make sure this upright is sitting flat on this crossbar here. And give it a one good turn. And give this bottom one good turn. Move to the 90 on the back side. Just make sure that's nice and flush. 90 on the back side. Give it a nice turn. Again, these aluminum brackets you can really rank on. Uh, you know, no problems. They're not going to break or anything like that. All right. So we've got our uprights in. Beastie little machine. We uh, this little rack we got going so far. All right. So next step. Uh, next step that I recommend is case feet. Uh, these heads here. Uh, we want to just make sure that these are all tightened. Now that the uprights are in, we just want to make sure these are all nice and snug down here. And as we're down here snugging these up, we can add our case feet. Peel the sticker off, put that guy right there, right in the center. Same thing with these guys at the bottom. Give them a nice tight. And another case foot. Come to the next side. Hope you guys are getting the point here. Sorry to keep every you know this video so long. Um, I've built these before uh, without doing instructional videos. Uh, I can build them in about 15 minutes. Um, it's not the fastest rack to put together, but uh, I'll put the rack up against uh, any rack out there as far as being durable. Uh, and supporting a lot of weight. Um, you know, those PSUs are, uh, those 1000 watt PSUs are not light. Uh, you know, depending on your configuration, you could have two to three and just one hasher. Um, so I just want to make sure that, you know, the hardware you guys invested, uh, you know, in your mining rigs, uh, you know, has a nice stable platform for it. So, and we put these last rubber feet on here. Again, they can go anywhere. I uh, just put them dead center. Flip it over, and we have a nice little quiet, sturdy rack now. So, next part we need to be worried about is getting the GPU support figured out. So, what we're going to do for GPU support is we are going to put the rear support on first, which is this one here, as you can see. If you count the slots, it'll tell you how many cards it'll support. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a six support side, and this is a five. So one, two, three, four, five. So if you put this on in the back, five side up, that rig's gonna support five. If you do it six side up, it's gonna support six. For those people that are nailed in at five, know that you know that's all they're gonna be running, perfect. Put them up for five. Also on this rack, you'll see that it has uh, spacing. These two outer holes here are for SSD drives or the very small laptop drives. And then uh, I believe this hole and this hole are for standard IDE drives, the larger drives. Uh, so you can mount uh, with the supplied hardware, you can mount uh, your SATA drive right here vertically. Uh, here and you can mount a secondary one over here too. Uh, most people are just going to use one 
Uh, so, but depending on their motherboard or what side they want it on, uh, we just put three more holes in there. So, all right. So I'm gonna do a six cord, uh, six card support. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and same principle, T nut. And we're gonna slide these T nuts in the back, just like so. Perfect. So as you can see, I've slid this on here, and this basically is now gonna be your rest for the back end of your video cards. So, before we do anything else, since we know our video cards are gonna go there, and we're gonna be doing six of them, we will take six of these little strips, rubber strips, and we will lay them right where the GPU is gonna lie. So, if you can see here, right on this thin edge right here. Just gonna take the rubber foam strip, place it on there, and voila. Nice cushion, nice little uh, barrier for your video card so it's not touching metal nor plastic. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these on real quick. Just like so. And these come with 20, so don't feel, uh, you know, you don't have to put them on both sides, or you can. Uh, there's a few extra ones, so feel free to, you know, kind of use the phone where you want to use it. So I'll lay the rest of these in there. i got two more to go here. And again, I'm building this six-card uh, six card rack, putting the foam in place at the moment. So once we actually have the cards in place, the, uh, the cards don't touch anything but this, uh, this foam here. So, all right. So, now that I've got all the foam pieces in, let's see, there we go. You can see all the foam pieces are in. That's where your cards are gonna rest. All right, so I'm gonna flip to the front now. And this bracket here, Primo Gel. Uh, this bracket here is the only bracket in the whole entire system to where you will mount the T-nuts backwards. And what I mean by that is normally we have this uh, Allen head on the uh, the textured shiny side that's not the case here because this gets mounted on the back side gets mounted on the back side of this instead of the front side so that's the only reason that they're mounted on the back so same principle with the t-nut just go ahead and drop that in there and pull this guy together here drop him into place just like so. So what I'll do now is, because I need to put, uh, we include the foam to go across this, so your motherboard, uh, or for your GPUs, they don't touch anything, but you know, nice cushion foam. Go ahead and tighten those up real quick. And we'll take the long strip of foam that's provided, and we'll just peel the back off, and it sticks right on there. So I probably didn't tell you about that, but these are, they have sticky on the back, so, you don't have to worry about putting glue down or anything like that. So you could just line this up and just press it down how you want it. Just like so. And now you have a hasher with the foam in the front. All right. So there is two more brackets. Uh, actually one more bracket that goes on here and then the motherboard tray. So. I'm gonna do, uh, this will be a six. So the, the way that this bracket works is it actually works on pressing down on the cards. So the, your card will be in, in between this and this and it's gonna press down on it. And this opening here is just perfect for your PCI, your dual PCI um, cards uh, for all of these, uh, these beefy cards. So also, so I wanna do six down because we did six up back here, because we're doing six cards, I want to be able to make sure that I mount this so I have six openings to press down on the cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so those are into place. What we want to do is just, again, the T-slot system. Kind of back this one out a little bit, it's a little tight. And slide it down just like so. Tighten this up for a second. Like so, 
and you can kind of see your hasher is coming together quite nicely. All right, so one last thing uh, is, I'm gonna set this, set this back here real quick, is your motherboard tray. Doesn't look like one, but it is. So what we have is your motherboard. Uh, we're gonna have standoffs on here. And in your hardware bag are standoffs and uh, screws. And basically, on each one of these holes, you're gonna take a screw, you're gonna feed it through the hole, and you're gonna take the, the hex standoff, and you're just gonna screw it right into it. Simple as pie. So you're gonna do that for the whole entire, uh, all, all, uh, all, the other, all the holes that are on this motherboard tray. Um, if you guys are using the, uh, the BTC Pro uh, H81 board, you're only gonna need this front and the middle. Uh, it's not a full ATX board, so you don't need the third set of rows, uh, third set of holes. Uh, it actually only uses six mounts. So if you are using the BTC uh, Pro, this uh, you'll only need to do two of these. So I'm not going to waste time in putting all, all the standoffs in here. I just want to show you how these go in. Um, if you look at this here, most motherboards they have this offset hole here. Um, this is going to go towards the right, uh, towards this front area here. So what you do is you just take the motherboard tray itself and. You put it in this one of the T slots, and you back it up, just like so. Slide it and slide it forward, and it snaps into place. Simple as pie. Your second one, do the same thing. Just line it up, and it goes right in, just like so. All right, guys. Uh, I think that's it for the Hasher build. Uh, as far as getting the rack built. Uh, we're going to do a, a how-to video, a, a part three how-to video for putting the hardware on, how to mount the uh, motherboard, uh, how to get your cards lined up correctly, leveled off, uh, and then as far as using this bracket here on the top to push down on the cards. So uh, as far as right now, this, uh, this hasher rack is built. Uh, very simple to build, very easy, uh, user-friendly. And, uh, you know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put some comments below or contact us uh, at uh, uh, our, our support site at primochill.com. And we will be back shortly to show you how to get the hardware in. All right. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Bye.